Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. I'm making a big cohair, I guess is what it's called, um, welcome mat for our front door. And I'm using uh, the Hungry JPEG, uh, parts of their font bundles. And I brought this in. Okay, so it looks just like this, right? Well, watch this. Oh, there's something down here. So let's go to the preview. Okay, I only want to see the cut lines. Okay, so this big one here is going to be my cut. And this little one that sits up here, I don't need. Okay, so if I show printable, that's the printable part. I don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. But first, we need to make sure that these are separated, which they are. So I click on that. And now I'm going to right-click. That brings up the right-click menu, and I just click Delete. So now I need to click on this and just make it a tad bit smaller. Okay. So I'm going to bring up my size because I made these mats up and there is a tutorial on how to make your own custom scan and cut mat and if you do this um, you don't have to worry about it being sized off the mat and let's make it a landscape no because that will bring it right in okay but what am I going to do to get this to show up well let's come over here oh we need to add some color there we go. Add some color there. All right, so that works. Okay, so let's bring this up a little bit so we can see what we're doing. Okay, we're big hunters. Uh, I know some of you may not believe in it or like it, but we hunt for our food. Um, we're not trophy hunters. We hunt to eat. Okay, so this will be the background. Um, I'm actually going to cut this out of um, contact paper and use it as a pattern to paint um, so I can make this as big as I want which I think I'm going to take it all the way up and I can make it a little lighter and then have the top part come in a little bit stronger okay let's take it all the way up because my background or my mat is pretty big. All right. So I can actually export this right now to my stick. And because I have the scan and cut too, I can export it as an SVG. I choose not to. I choose to turn it into the FCM. Um, Okay, so now to make a second page, you come up to the green plus sign and you click it and then I just hit enter. And we'll just add a page three. I don't know if I'm going to need it, but we'll see. Okay, so what font do I want? Well, our library has disappeared, so you just come up here and you click on it. it disappeared because I clicked the X. I don't like a messy screen. I like it clean. What font do I want to use? And this is for my own personal use. Like I say, I don't normally sell very much of my stuff. I love making things for people pretty much for free. Okay, so we'll come through here and I'll choose a font and then I'll be back. Okay, and here's one that I want to show you, the font preview. Oh. Come up here to text. You have to have your word selected. If you do not have it selected, it's going to come up grayed out. You're going to come up here to font preview. And let's decrease the size so we can pack in a whole bunch of them. Okay, let's come up here. Let's make this big. So we can see a whole bunch of different ones. And you don't have to have your exact word if you don't want. Okay, so let's try to put that in there. There we go. Now, every single font that you have in Scal will come up here. So the word that you have is going to come out 
and be showed to you in every font that you have. This is a pretty cool one. So that you can see what your word is going to look like. So you can stroll through here and pick it out. Okay, I wanted to show that to you because not a lot of people know that that is in there. Alright, so I'll be back when I have a good one picked out. Okay, so I've come across Hummingbird. This is another one of Laura Worthington's fonts. So you push it, but it doesn't change. It's still stuck there. So let me bring this back up here. You come here to display selection only. Then you can change font. Okay, so that brings that up. But we all know when we go to cut things out of, let's say, vinyl or anything like that, you want to thicken it up, okay? Because sometimes <clears throat> when you're trying to cut, or especially when you're going to paint something, the thicker it is, the better it is, okay? So to thicken things up, I don't go to effects shadow, no. You come here to the wrench and it says style, normal. Well, I come to shadow and I go straight. Sometimes it'll come up and it'll just poof, be so fat it looks ridiculous. When that happens, I come in here and I'll take it down to point zero three zero, and I hit enter. You have to hit the enter button. And that will change it to normally something that is readable. But for this one, I'm going to leave it at point zero five zero. Okay, and you must remember that you need to union these types of letters, okay? And sometimes it'll say not responding, like it's doing. Okay, so now as you see, as I float over it, all of those letters are joined, all right? So that's what we want. Now, I need to put um, probably friends down below. And just size it in the usually the little blue lines. Yep, you see the little blue lines that come in right there telling you that it's equal with the top part. And that little blue line that just came in to tell me that it's equal with that E. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. I'm not sure that I like it being so big there. Okay, pop that down. Just kind of take a look, a good look at it. But what else do I have to do? Well, I know I need to come in here because I made the welcome thicker. And I need to thicken that up as well, too. And sometimes if you've monkeyed with it, you need to monkey with it the same way to get it to look Now, even though this is supposed to be 0 .050, do they not look the exact same? Sometimes that's what happens in scale. Nothing I can do about it. Um, it just happens that way. All right, and I think I'm going to ungroup these and move that S over a little bit. <gasps> ah, come on. Object. Okay, so I'm ungrouped. I'm just going to come in and I'm going to slide this over just a little bit. And there's nothing graceful about that. Okay. And then come back in here. Rejoin everything. Path. And union them as well. And now they're all unioned. Okay. So now... Just try to capture the edge of this. Leave part of that antler. Well, that's not going to work. So we'll send it to page two and come and grab this one. You could have done it all together, but it didn't want to work, so there we go. So 
So change that. Okay, and I know that my mat is 32 inches wide, which means there's going to be some extra space in here. So what I want to do is I want to add our last name. And I think I'm going to keep it kind of smallish because I may want to add it like just between these two parts of the antler because I think the welcome will go, you know, up in here and the friends will be more down in here. So we'll have this kind of open area. So I think I want to try to fit it in between either these two or those two. So I'm thinking probably like these two. So I better get typing. <clears throat> Keep it like this. And just kind of let it sit there. Okay. So now I come to my wrench. Shadow straight. Five zero. That looks good to me. The S even looks okay. And we'll do a union. Okay, that's all union, so now that's going to go to page 3. Send that back to page 3. Come on. Okay, so now let me go grab that. Export. FCM. WM, meaning the welcome mat. And we're ready to go put our... Um, contact paper because that's what we're going to be using to cut it out of because I can use it and then I can just throw it away. It's no big cost to me. And we're going to put it on our cohair mat. <clears throat> Alright, so we'll head for the camera work next. <laughs> 